The CBS 2 investigators have been all over the city's bad water billing practices. We call it getting hosed. The city's wronged a widow, a Vietnam veteran, and now a church. Its pastor didn't reach out to a higher power to try to fix the wrong bill. She turned to us. Amen. The sun rose this Sunday at Solid Rock Church. It's like second home to me. Her mother ministered here. Now it's Veronica Day's flock and her rock met her husband in the choir. I want things to be right. Now we got to pause and pay this water bill. In 2015, out of nowhere, like the storm on the Sea of Galilee. I got the six thousand and something dollar water bill. Six thousand two hundred fifty seven dollars and fifty nine cents to be exact. And they said they would put me on a three year payment plan. And they paid it religiously since 2015. We're nonprofit. So that is a lot. Now I want every penny of it back because she's not supposed to get a water bill. Says who? The city. This is their Bible, the municipal code. We know a lot about the municipal code and how the city doesn't always follow it. But in this case, NFPs or not for profits like this church with less than a million bucks in net assets are eligible for a 100% water exemption meaning they don't have to pay. See, here's their financial form. They're barely worth a hundred grand, let alone a million, the cutoff. To receive the exemption, nonprofits had to install a meter and submit this application. Solid Rock Church did both. We've been exempt from day one. So what did happen? Well, the city reached out to the pastor late last night and said, we're wrong, we're fixing it. Not exactly. You see, once you get wronged by the city, you got to battle bureaucracy to make it right. More tonight at 10.